Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brad Cooper. Guys, we're getting virusy today. What year is it? And not COVID, because there is apparently a new illness on the horizon. I'm just going to read you this tweet briefly. In March 2021, NTI partnered with the Munich Security Conference to conduct a tabletop exercise simulating a global pandemic. We've heard this one before. Involving an unusual strain of monkeypox caused by a terrorist attack using a pathogen engineered in a laboratory. Monkey problems? No, I'm not having monkey problems. Why would I have monkey problems? Well, wouldn't you know, the first cases of monkeypox have made its way to the United States and they are in Massachusetts. Take your sticking paws off me, you damn dirty ape. This is gonna be a fun one, so make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell so that you never miss a comment section segment. Isn't it just convenient that right before the midterms, a new virus just happens to make its way into the United States? Science! It's also important to note that Biden is preparing to sign a treaty uh, with the World Health Organization that would give up a lot of our rights, a lot of, you know, his power, the state's power, to the WHO. Just coincidental that he's thinking of doing that right as this virus is entering our country. So things are really looking up for our rights in regards to our health, but we've already known that that was a hot mess for the last two years. So this is nothing new. It's just a new virus. Nothing to see here. And to give you a little context about what monkeypox is, I have this TikTok that I feel like sums up some attitudes. You have to be kidding me. What the hell is this? We have the first reported case of monkeypox in the United States. I don't know what this is, but I already hate it. Oh, hell no. You have to be kidding me right now can we please have one week just one week where we don't have some bs pop up so after i did five minutes of research i found out that symptoms of monkeypox include fever chills headaches muscle aches fatigue swollen lymph nodes i i don't know how to pronounce that and there's also other stuff too it lasts for about one to two weeks but it could also last up to three and it usually starts off with a rash that starts in the face and then goes to other parts of the body how far it goes i really do not want to find out <laughs> Basically, it's just like a flu, but you get a rash and you have those welts and bumps all over you. Those symptoms, it does remind me, you guys know how during COVID they kept adding to the symptoms. It was like, well, with, well, with this strain, you might have a headache and a sore throat. And with this one, you might lose your taste, but also if you have chills. It was like every symptom in the book for any kind of cold and flu was added in. So when I read that one, it's like, okay, well, what is this? I'm spiraling at this point. I'm gonna lose my freaking mind! This better not grow. I don't know how you get monkeypox, but I guess I'm staying away from the zoo. Is that how it happens? I don't know. An undead monkey. The first comment is, ooh, ooh ah, ah. Happy monkey. Somebody else says, I'm buying every Lego set, a bunch of toilet paper, food and water, and locking myself in a bank vault. <laughs> Okay, listen, if you're going to be locking down, if you're going to be sequestering away, like stockpiling food, you're going to need to have some way to get protein. And the best way to get protein delivered is with a Good Rancher subscription. With uncertainty in supply chains, what the grocery stores offer, because I know that I've been seeing empty shelves. Good Ranchers is a reliable place to get your essentials. They even have this super cool new prepper kit that allows you to stock up on all the food that you might need for impending doom. And considering the things that I've been talking about the last couple of days, you might need it. So go to GoodRanchers.com and use code COOPER and you will get two pounds of free American Wagyu burgers and free shipping. And then you can browse the website and you can pick out what you want in your prepper kit because guys, based on what I've been talking about, I think you're going to need it. And Good Ranchers has your back. Good Ranchers, American meat delivered. All right, that little TikTok didn't give me really enough information about what uh, virus we're all gonna be getting in the next few months. I apologize. Yes, this it, the video immediately popped up, warning distressing content. If you don't wanna see this, you can skip ahead, but I'm going to force myself to watch it. I haven't seen this yet, but I do want a little more information other than just, I'm gonna have a headache and swollen lymph nodes. Monkeypox is a viral infection similar to smallpox involving a mix of symptoms including fever, headaches, backaches, muscle aches, chills, exhaustion, and swollen lymph nodes. A rash can erupt on the skin and spread all over the body, it just looks but like is pimples. usually mostly concentrated on the face before a scab is formed and eventually falls off. The monkeypox virus ah. usually causes mild illness in patients. Symptoms can appear between 5 to 21 days after infection, and the virus can last for 2 to 4 weeks. 
The infection can spread when someone makes contact with an infected person or with something they have touched and contaminated. However, the risk of transmission to the general population is very low. The virus mostly affects a younger age group, and up to 10% of people with monkeypox may die. Monkeypox primarily originates in the tropical rainforests of Central and West African countries, and it is mainly spread through wild animals. The Back World Health the Organization zoo. says that the natural reservoir of monkeypox has not yet been identified, but the virus mostly transmits from rodents and primates. The infection was first discovered in 1958, after a pox-like disease outbreak occurred in monkeys used for research. The first human case of monkeypox was recorded in the Democratic Republic of the Congo in 1970. The most recent monkeypox case was confirmed in England on May 7th, with two new cases emerging since then, according to the Health Security Agency. I guess I'm just not going to the zoo. Also, did you hear that part where they said that monkeypox was first discovered in primates and monkeys that were used for research? Is this even natural? What is it with these viruses that are being engineered and coming out of laboratories? I already have some theories about this. Twitter has been losing its damn mind. This doctor is already triggered. If monkeypox spreads, I think I'm leaving medicine. I'm not exposing myself to a disease with a 10% mortality rate because this country of selfish f refuses to get masked or get vaccines when they're available. Make whatever health choices you want. My choice will be to leave. Good. At least you ended on a positive note. You have the choice not to work in that environment, and I have the choice to not wear a mask and not get a vaccine. Monkeypox, some new COVID variant, they will need a reason to convince you that voting in person is instant death. Yeah, like I said, midterms. Everybody's already still afraid. What the f is monkeypox, bitch? I'm tired. <laughs> I feel like these kinds of things, like these diseases or, you know, these world phenomena, like during COVID, there was something where, like, killer bees or wasps or something were apparently like coming to the u.s like huge bugs everybody was losing their mind murder hornets yes i feel like that stuff is relatively normal but goes under the radar but since we're all like at this heightened state of like oh my god what is going around like now i'm just exhausted like every time i see a new one now it's like, are you kidding me? Really? Another thing? NHS staff are ramping up preparations for a potential monkeypox pandemic. Dance practice has been scheduled twice a week, and I'm told that the routines will be even bigger and better this time around. <laughs> you guys remember the dancing nurses from COVID? Let's play a video of that. Because that was, that was a time. Breaking, Sweden now reports the first case of monkeypox, great. This comes after several European countries have reported cases, including f over 40 in Spain and Portugal. What is going on? They shut down Shanghai after one COVID case. So what are they about to do with 40 in Europe? Uh, here's another person that's selling their high horse about COVID. Fully understand that after more than two years with SARS-CoV-2, everyone is excited about monkeypox. And of course the outbreak must be watched closely. I'm not excited about monkeypox. I don't want to deal with it. Anyway, continued. But just a small reminder that we still have the COVID-19 pandemic around with high transmission, few protection for risk groups. Really? I thought we had already moved on to the next current thing. I thought that it like fully ended when the war in Ukraine started. And now we're on, you know, abortion rights. So monkeypox is going to have to like weasel its way in there throughout all of this public outrage. I mean, to be honest, I probably would be more weirded out by this than by COVID just because of the, you know, the physical ramifications. But I, I just don't trust that any of this is actually happening. I just, it feels too convenient. You guys, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you've heard anything, if you see anything on the internet. Let's see what monkeypox is all about. Do you want to be the only person not caught up on the internet's latest news? I didn't think so. So make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell so you never miss an episode.